Hi, this is Eula and I am revolutionizing Notion experiences. In this video, I will be giving you a tour and step-by-step -step tutorial of the Notion University dashboard template. If you haven't already, you can get it at eulacreations.gumroad.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting Notion content and template. Now, let's dive into the tour. We have the courses you are taking in the current semester. When the semester changes, just update the filter accordingly. You can do that by clicking these menu buttons. Click Filter, then input the semester. Every card shows you the number of pending tasks you have as well as your progress towards finishing these tasks. If you click on a course, it will show you a more focused dashboard about the course. All of the databases here are automatically filtered except this table. You need to set the filter to the name of this page so it only shows the data for the current course you are viewing. Going back to our main dashboard, there's a call-out block for quick navigations to all the databases in this template, as well as the quick buttons for easy adding of new tasks and tracking grades. You can add more to these buttons that will suit your workflow. Below here are some useful embedded tools for your coursework. Next, you can see here all your uncompleted tasks, which are sorted according to their deadlines. This table has properties, including the flag priority. When you take this, the task will appear under the deadline area and show you comprehensive data about the time left to complete it. In the tasks directory, you can also view your tasks by course. Below the tasks directory are the calendar views of your tasks, including the week, month, and timeline views. Moving on, in this area, you can see your GPA for the current semester. Just change the filter accordingly when the semester changes. Next, you have your schedule for the semester. It is filtered according to the current semester. So when the semester changes, just update the filter accordingly. Moving on, you have notes, which you can view by subject or by status. In the last block, you have your grades calculator. Here you have your university's grading system. There's also a version with a P class and another one with this grading system. Here you can see your grades for every course you are taking this semester, your GPA for this semester, and your overall GPA. Below here you have your grades tracker where you will input the grades you get from every activity, assignment, exam, etc. Here, you can also see the academic coursework criteria for each course. Now that we have covered the tour, let's learn how to manage your university dashboard. The first thing we need to do is to set all the templates to default for easy setup. In a database, click the collapse button beside new. Click the three dots beside the template and click set as default. Do this in every database. Next. Let's create the academic terms. In the navigation, click semesters. Input the name of the semester and the ceiling grade in your university. The ceiling grade is the highest grade you can achieve in your university. That is all you need to input. Now that we are done with that, let us create our courses. Go back to the main dashboard and click Courses. To add a course, click New Input the Course Code, the course title, the ceiling grade, the credit, the prerequisite course if there is one, the instructor, the day of your class and the time, the room number and the semester. Add an icon for visual appeal. Do this for all the courses that you will add. Now, to add notes, just click New here. Input the course, the term, and the URL if there is any. Now let's add some tasks. Under the Tasks section, input the name of the task under task. Input the subject as well as the deadline. After you input that, the day of the deadline will automatically show, as well as the days left you have to complete this task. Assign the context of the task. Input some important notes or instructions. If you have existing notes that you need to complete this task, just link it under this property. Then paste some links if you need to. So that's it when you input the tasks. For the tutorial on how to use the GPA calculator, I will put the link to the video tutorial in the description box below. That concludes our tutorial. If you are interested in more of my templates, check them out at ulacreations.gumroad.com I offer a variety of free Notion templates that will revolutionize your Notion experience. For updates and Notion tips, follow me on social media. 
and remember to like and subscribe.